Hello there, this is Russ Bucher from Controlman Icon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can control different Controlman Icon actions using an external application. So as an example, if you're a developer, you could create an external application in the language of your choice and communicate with Control My Nikon over TCP IP, which is a network protocol. So you can command it to connect or disconnect or shoot, and it is synchronous, so it'll let you know when the command has been completed. So let's go over to the triggers menu and down to TCP IP. And to enable the TCP IP server, we just click on enable, and this is the address and the port it's going to be listening on. So it will receive commands from your application on this IP address or port. Now, if you don't create your own application, you can also send commands via Telnet. And we have some information about this here. It's case sensitive, and you need to send it, followed by a carriage return and line feed. You send it as one byte per letter, not Unicode want to experiment with this without creating your own application, you can use a Telnet app like Putty Tel. This is free. Very good Telnet app. When you set up a connection, just make sure you set it up as a raw connection and then type in the command and then you'll be communicating with Control My Icon. Okay, let's give it a try. I have a test app here. And I've enabled the TCP IP server within Controlman Icon. So now I'll enable my TCP IP client. And you can see that they have connected. The client connected to the server. And they both have logs here showing what has transpired. So I'm going to send a command. We're already connected to a D800 here. So there it has captured an image. So the server logs that it received a command. And based on this command, it decided to do a shoot. And here it started the command and then received notification that the command was complete. Let's try it again. So it starts and then it completes. So you can use this ability to integrate with other software. You can also send commands to Control My Nikon using a web browser and the web trigger. However, it is not synchronous. And that's it. That's how you send commands to Control My Nikon via TCP IP. Happy tethering.